A new website is causing concern for people all across the country, including right here in the east. FamilyTree.com is picking up steam on social media. It lists your personal information available for anyone to see. WNCT's Kelly Byrne joined us live to tell us more about the concerns this website is causing. Kelly. Ken, this is FamilyTreeNow.com. Now, I just typed in a coworker's name. I'm going to click search. Now, I know he's on the second page. When I click on him right here, this is view details. You see all of this personal information, possible relatives, possible associates, current and past addresses. That's why many people are starting to question, is this safe? Yes, that's very scary. I don't know why they would put something on here like this. A website going viral. FamilyTreeNow.com is raising some eyebrows. It's kind of creepy. And drawing backlash from people right here in the East. I think people are finding more than what they want to know. <laughs> Type in your first and last name, click search, and a database full of personal information is listed for anyone to see. And you can do it right from your phone. And it shows like the earth for my age, and it shows like all my family members. I don't want it. <laughs> It's illegal since this information is public record. I don't really like that people can find me. I mean, literally every address I've ever been at. But should people be concerned? Yeah, you should be concerned. Pitt County Sheriff Detective David Flynn says websites like FamilyTreeNow.com can cause serious problems, especially for those who need to stay under the radar for their own safety. In this instance, you know, posting of known associates, friends, relatives, and that kind of thing, it does give someone, uh, you know, that's looking to do further harm, places to look for this person. Even if you don't post this information on social media sites, it's still available there. Facebook is creepy anyway to right now. If it gets any higher, it'll be more creepy. To <laughs> personal information by definition should be personal. It's information about you that you don't necessarily want anyone else to have. See what it says about you. Now, don't believe everything you read on the internet. Some people I spoke to say not all of this information is 100% accurate. Still, some people are choosing to opt out of the service. Live in Greenville, Kelly Byrne, not on your side. All right, Kelly, thank you. And as Kelly just mentioned, opting out is possible. After searching for yourself, click on your name, the record detail, and click opt out. It can take up to 48 hours to process, though. And this is just takes off one record. So if there's more than one piece of information you want deleted from that database, you must repeat those steps.